All right, recruiters and staffing agency owners, in this video, I'm gonna show you the system that I use to search for resumes on Indeed, how I source and screen candidates, and how I systematize this process. So as I'm not a huge fan of traditional job boards like ZipRecruiter, Indeed, Craigslist, etc. I think there's a lot of saturated, active job seeker candidates on there that I've, a lot of our clients really do not want to speak with, unfortunately. But the one job board that I do use and I do pay for $250 a month is Indeed for the resume search feature. I've made a lot of placements with it. It's the only tool that I use to recruit candidates on, at scale. And let me show you exactly how it works. All right, so here we are in my Indeed page. Let me go into search resumes. Again, I spend $250 a month for this feature. It's worth every penny. I'd highly recommend it. Yeah, I know, Indeed. I got to fix, I got to replace my credit card, so ignore that. But all you have to do is go in here and type in a keyword. So let's say we want to look for network engineers across the country right now. You can filter this further by putting a location in, etc. And then just go ahead and click search resumes. And you will get a list of candidates. And now what I do is I come over here and I typically filter this where it says resumes last updated to about the last month because that tells me that these are hotter candidates that are recently engaged with Indeed and are looking around right now. So last month is where I put that. And I don't really worry about this too much, but I do select my job titles that Indeed will recommend for you to choose. It just helps me get a more narrow search. And so let's go with those two. So right now I'm gonna deselect that. So we've got 916 candidates, typically if I'm really gonna construct a Boolean search, I'll get around two to 300 candidates, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just run through it. So once you get all of these candidates, what's great about this, the automation feature within Indeed, I just click the candidates that I wanna to email to. So to just select these two, for example, and I'll, I'll select email. Now, you have the ability to set up templates in here, which I would encourage you to do. It's a shortcut, again, it's automation. So I've got a lot of different templates set up on my uh, Indeed account, but let's just go with this latest one. I believe this is the most latest one. So here is one that I did. So I've auto populate the candidate's first name, which makes it more personalized. And I tell them I've been retained by a fiber company. Give them a little detail. What's cool about this and what I would encourage you to do is to put a link in here for the candidate to view your job page. So I always create a very professional looking job page for my candidates that looks like this. It's customized, it's a URL that I create for any job that I get. It goes into detail with, about the job that I have. This is a video of me explaining the job and the benefits of it and why my candidates would wanna work at this company, why they're a great company, what makes them different. I get really good feedback from my candidates, from A player candidates, when I take my time and I create systems like this. So this directs the candidates to this page if they wanna take a further deep dive into it. They can even apply here and it goes right into my CRM, which I'll show you. So this is my applicant tracking system. These are my contacts. I'm not gonna hit that on because I don't wanna show anyone's information, but it literally goes right into there and I can start a nurture campaign to these candidates, which I'll show you in a few seconds here. But back to Indeed. So another step that I do is my goal is I want these candidates to schedule with me on my calendar. That's the goal here. Let's get them on a calendar. Let's do an intro call for five or 10 minutes. My time is really valuable. If it's not a great candidate, I'll know in the first five minutes and I gotta move on with my day. So I put, I go into Calendly. So for those of you that don't know what Calendly is, it's calendly.com. There's free accounts in here. I think I spend nine bucks or 10 bucks a month for a little bit more features, a really nominal price. But I set up calendar cards in here. So here's the Connect Gen intro call. And the candidate clicks here on that link on Indeed. It'll take them to my calendar and they can go ahead and select a time and a date to do an intro call with me. So that is the system that I do. And then when I do that, I get like all types of booking. So as you can see, my calendar lights up. So these are all responses from candidates that are ready to meet with me and book with me. So it makes my life a whole lot easier when I come in the morning, I look at my calendar, I've got five or six intro calls and I get right through it. So that's the system that I do. So I take it a step further. When I get these candidates, what I do is I wanna start a nurture campaign to them as well. I don't wanna forget about these candidates. For any of you who own a staffing company, a recruiting business, or are looking to start one, even recruiters working for agencies, the best recruiters in the world are the ones who have a sustainable pipeline. You can't forget about these candidates, even though they may not be good for this job. 
you're going to talk to a lot of candidates that could be good for another job and you want to be able to nurture those candidates and the way you nurture them is well we have a tool that really simply integrates with linkedin at scale so you can create campaigns in here through linkedin so what i would suggest is take all those candidates download them into the system and start a linkedin campaign with those candidates become first degree connections with them you want them seeing your content your post uh, this will build credibility for you in your niche so that's what i do with all the candidates i get them in a campaign here and i start dripping to them with some setup sequences right here on automation and set it and forget it guys to all you can sit here and spend hours on the net looking on the internet looking for tools if that's what you think is important for your recruiting business the most important thing in growing a recruiting company is making sure it's systematized having systems in place having a flight plan on automation for the most part it's going to help you scale your recruiting company it's going to help you make over ten thousand dollars a month much more than that but that is the key so many recruiters just you know, get lost in what tool should I have? Am I using the right thing? Guys, just get a system in place like I'm showing you right now for this very simple Indeed resume search. The last thing that you can do is, let's see. Yep, so my CRM, my applicant tracking system that I use allows me to set up workflows. So I would put all those contacts into my CRM right here and then I would simply set up a workflow that's automated that goes out to these candidates when I have a piece of content, a blog post, a video, a testimonial, a case study. I'll set up some triggers back here that hits that candidate list, all right? And it hits them through email, through SMS text reminder, through voicemail drops, all happening in the background while I'm doing other things. All right, guys, hope that helps.